We're looking at transitive verbs. Now, what is a transitive verb? So we're looking in grammar lessons in Google Klingo. So a transitive verb is a verb that happens to something or someone. So for example, the verb in this sentence is hit, and it is Jack, who is the agent or subject, who hit Mary, who's the object. Now in English, we use our word order to convey who the agent or subject is and who the object is of the verb in the um, sentence. Now in Yungamata, they don't use word order in that way. Word order is used to convey a whole range of other things, other nuances of meaning, not the object and the subject. So in English, if it was Mary hit Jack, then we would know Mary was doing the one hitting. In Yungamata, it is often the use of suffixes, and this is one example. And there are other examples as well, depending on what type of verb it is. But it's very important that you're aware that transitive verbs are the ones that happen to someone. And later on, in lesson 24, they look at intransitive verbs, and intransitive verbs don't need an object. For example, the verb went here, so Stephen went, that doesn't happen to anyone or anything. So it's an intransitive verb. And when you come across this notation, V-I-N-T-R, verb intransitive, that tells you that it doesn't need the suffixes on the object. Now, most of the time in Gopapoingo and Jambapoingo, it followed like the verbs that are transitive in English are also transitive in Gopapoingo um, and Jambapoingo, but not always. So, and in the notations, if it comes up with in your brackets next to a, a word, a verb, VTR, that means it's a transitive verb, which of course it is one that has an object. Well, here they have no express objects. 